All right, let's talk about Hollywood's biggest night. It's the Oscars. It's this Sunday night. It's on ABC 10. It's going to be a big night, and who better to talk about it all than MSA? Yeah, Mr. Walker, for people who weren't here just moments ago, Reggie, a passerby, said, have you seen any of the movies? And he said, I don't know anything about the Oscars. I don't know what you're talking about. I think that resonates with a lot of people. It's going to be a really unique year for movies. There were no real movies in theaters for the most part, especially in California. So a lot of people didn't see the movies. However, the Oscars go on. The nominees look like this. This year's Oscars brings eight nominations for Best Picture. The Sound of Metal and The Father consider long shots in this category. Mank, which tells the story behind the screenplay of Citizen Kane, leads with 10 nominations, but it has struggled to turn them into wins this award season. Anywhere there's people, there's power. Judas and the Black Messiah, more likely to bring a win for Daniel Kaluuya for supporting actor, while Promising Young Woman has a shot at original screenplay and Best Actress for Carey Mulligan. That leaves Minari. The Trial of the Chicago 7, and Nomadland. Minari and Nomadland have the most passionate bases, while Chicago 7 has broad support and could sneak a win if the vote is close and goes to second or third ballots. In the end, Minari may be an upset, but I'm thinking it's Nomadland. While on the road, to talk about a road trip movie, I caught up with director Chloe Zhao. You talked about something that you learned along the way, that you pretty much have to set your own schedule and lean into your own schedule when you're being a nomad. What are some of the other things you learned about the lifestyle that maybe you hadn't predicted in pre-production? Well, the you know, the sense of community that they have, um, even if it's not physical, I think Facebook really is a very, very strong, uh, important tool for them to stay in touch with each other, to organize events. Um, and just how much people are willing to help each other out on the road. Uh, if you see someone else in a van and go up there and ask them, I didn't realize that network existed. See who wins live on the Oscars Sunday, April 25th, 5 p.m. right here on ABC 10. A dedicated to the Oscars Sunday, uh, starting at 2 p.m. with the special Oscars special. Uh, Dion Taylor, prolific filmmaker, co-hosting that, and another panel of experts. Speaking of experts, Sarah Kovam, how are you? One of my favorite podcasts about movies happens to be based right here in Sacramento. You were one of the co-hosts of the Top Ten list. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, thank you for having me. All right. So quickly, what are your thoughts about the uh, Best Picture? What do you? How do you think it's going to go? Okay, I think it's going to be Nomadland. Um, really, really amazing film. I I loved it. I I get kind of picky about films. Um, I think it's a really Big year for women with the director, Chloe Zhao, yeah. uh, and um, being one of two females, first time ever, having two female directors being nominated. Um, really big year for that. I'm, I'm excited. Got it. Uh, if it comes down between Nomadland and Minari, do you think it's going to be Nomadland? I think it's going to be Nomadland, yeah. Got it. And we can find your podcast where and how? Uh, you can find it at the Sacramento Comedy Spot um, on their on their website, saccomedyspot.com. Um, we do a lot of live streaming shows there. Yeah, and you can watch it on YouTube uh, or catch us live on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Yeah, it's hysterical. We're going to keep this going at Mark S. Allen Show on Facebook. And uh, check it out. Sunday, 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 Oscars. Yep, right here on ABC 10. Mark, thank you.